Yes fish people, I hope you're all doing well and in today's video we're going to have a look at two of my pairs that I currently have and one is the Monte Cristo Cichlid and the other is the Nicaraguensis Cichlid and they both actually are in the same tank as you know if you watch my videos but what we're going to do is we're going to do a little update on how those pairs are doing so let's do it Okay, so we're going to start with the Oscura Etra Spear, which are the Monte Cristo Cichlids, as I said in the intro. And obviously I said both pairs are in the same tank, and I think if you watched one of my previous videos, they were obviously trying to get their little territories, territories rev, ready for spawning. Now, I'll be open and honest with you guys, when these two pairs of fish uh, are in this position and they do spawn, we never get to free swimmers because obviously there's so many fish in the tank, there's smaller fish that can nip in, there's pleco. So I really do need to get, especially this pair in their own tank because, you know, I said it before, that I should be breeding these more than anything else because these are my favourite. But as you can see, in this video, they are spawning in the pot. And I think what, I mean, obviously this video is not about showing you them with young, but I think it's great to see them when they're in this color so the thing with this fish this and i think this is why it's my favorite fish is the amount of color and pattern that it has it it's unreal and it changes it you know it, it can be lighter it can be darker you know sometimes even when they're not in breeding pairs you know some days they can be really light some days they can be middle of the road and some days it can be really dark and I mean, look at that. That's the male. Look at the look at the colour, and even in the fins and everything, it's stunning. I love that little white U under uh, the gills on the gills. Sorry, not under the gills on the gills. They get that when they start to to get into spawning mode. So that really shows when they're in spawning mode. I mean, and look at this bit here. So you can see that Jafirim next to him, just chilling out, and they're just spawning away. And it's madness in it because these this fish was classed as a viager at one point, right? And a lot of Vieja can be quite territorial without even being in breeding mode. But these guys, they never, ever get angry. They just spawn away in the pot and they don't bother with anything else that's near him. Look, he just had a look at him. He's not bothered. I mean, that male is stunning, isn't it? So, yeah, it's, they're a great fish to own. They don't grow massive. They are an absolute slow grower. It's, you know, it takes ages for them to grow. And I've got this pair and I've got two more smaller ones that I think they're around about four inches. I would say both of them and I picked both of them up probably now. What what we in? So at this part of this video, we're in January 2022 and I think I picked them up in something like June, May, June 2021. So I wouldn't even say they'd grown an inch if I'm honest with you, but nonetheless stunning. The great thing with my four as well is um, they're all from Cichlids of the Americas. So these, this pair were brought over by my friend probably four years ago now. I keep saying four years, it might even be five now. We got an order from uh, a guy called Rob Johnson at Lynx Fish who had them shipped over from the Cichlids of the Americas. So you know the great, the great quality. They're F1 and you can see her, you can see her egg tube down there. See it? Um, and then, you know, the great quality. So... Uh, you know, the, the, I can get some really good young from these anyway. But just a quick note on these. My friend had them and he spawned them twice and he's grown the young on twice. The reason for my reluctance to breed them is he's had two lots of young. The first lot all had um, really bad fins. So all of them had fins that were stuck to the back. So, you know, that... But the second spawn were fantastic. They were unreal. So, you know, um, it could I could do it because you can always call them, obviously. But I will do it at some point. But yeah, that was where my reluctance came from. I don't want to end up, you know, spending all that time growing this amazing fish out because they take so long and then they've all got these fins. But you know what? I need to be learned to be more patient, donor, at the end of the day and see it through. And obviously, when I've got the fish room, that will be a better opportunity. I mean, look at the look at the colour and the pattern and the darkness of that. It's stunning absolutely stunning and yeah the other two that i got i got them off a fella who um is lived and live far away from me he, he actually got an order from cichlids of the uh, sorry from rob johnson uh lynx fish at the same i think it was this no it weren't the same time it couldn't have been it was 
um, the second time that we'd done it, he got the order. So he had some young and then he asked me if I wanted to buy them. So I bought them off him. So I was very lucky there. So I've got four great, great quality um, Etra Spear here. And obviously I've got a pair and, you know, worth the weight in gold to me, that is, because being my favourite fish, I want to be in a position where I keep this going. And I know, obviously, where they're from, don't I? So if I grow young on from this, like I said about my Trimax, it's the same story. I know where they're from. And actually, if I did grow some of these out, I would put these out into the obby, no problem. So yeah, really excited about getting these on their own and just stunning. And, and do you know what? I sit here and just watch this behaviour. It's stunning, isn't it? Anyway, guys, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a little look at the Nicaraguan cichlids. Obviously, they're in the same tank. And these are looking brilliant at the moment. These are in the same... This is these. This video footage actually is at the same time. So, when I say at the same time, I, I did the footage of the Etra Spear, and then I took some footage of the Nicaraguan cichlids. So, they're both going through the motions. Now, these these guys are absolutely mental. They, so, they've, they, when I say mental, I don't mean mental as in madness. I mean, they're spawning in this little... Pleco tube, so the male can just about get in it. And obviously these guys, when they lay eggs, they're not adhesive eggs, so they're always going to look for a cave like that or something where they're not going to fall out. And you know, but they're stunning. I mean, you can see there they've dug that little pit in the gravel in front of the cave. So again, we will get some, we will get some spawn, and it's highly likely that a pleco will make its way in there and eat it. So again. You know, we're not going to, it's going to be really hard for me to grow any fish from these pairs in this tank. But I have had a lot of hassle with this male and this pair. So this pair have caused me a little bit of, of um, a, I don't know if the word, right, right word is trouble, but yeah, we'll use the right word trouble. I mean, look at that female, beautiful. They've caused me a little bit of hassle, I'll use. They've caused me hassle because the, the male is off its head. And when they're in a pair, it's off its head. It's just annoying it's just wanting to kick off with everything and you know what if you read up about these it tells you that they're more of a um what's the word i'm looking for like a more of a non-aggressive central american cichlid but that's not true not in my opinion and then i go back to saying the other day about opinions and stuff and you know experience everybody's experience is different isn't it and I'm telling you now, I, if, if i would tell you the fish that caused me the most trouble in my fish room are these nicaraguan cichlids so what does that tell you but look at them they're beautiful aren't they i mean look, <laughs> but what's great about having a pair of these fish is when they go into like spawning mode you get the breeding dress and you just see the true beauty of these fish don't you anyway guys i'm going to stop going on with myself now and we'll wrap this one up all right that's it i hope you enjoyed that guys and i'm sure you'll agree they are two fantastic pairs and Really happy with how they're both getting on. Just like I said, I need to get them both in their own tank. Okay, so anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for all the support you give me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the watching, the, the subscribing, the liking, all those things. And as always, guys, if you're not subscribed, do us a favour, consider subscribing. Just press that button below and ping that bell for notifications. So I'm going to call it a day there. That's me, and I will see you on the next one.